What's good everybody? It's your boy Sino and I am back again with another NBA 2K19 video. So today's video is a little bit different. Today we're actually going to be talking about one of those builds that I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are sick and tired of playing against. For you guys that play at the 1v1s, for you guys that play 2v2, or for you guys that just get dominated just anywhere with this player build. And of course we are talking about one of the best big man builds in NBA 2K19 and that goes out to the pure post scores. Now, NBA 2K19 didn't do a good job with patching most of the builds that were just the meta for 2K19. Well, I mean, to give a great example, the pure stretch four, yes, that thing was OD, like, that, that, that jump was crazy, all right? Now, the pure post score is pretty much the same exact way. If you encounter a good player with a pure post score, I'm pretty sure you probably got a couple holes in your wall, couple holes in your desk, your controller buttons are probably scattered all over the floor, but hey look man, this is the video for today, so before we get into this, make sure that you smash that like button, I might be giving y'all some more jump shots, it seems like you guys like that, and you guys love when I'm talking about 2K20, so I appreciate the love from all that. Now, for real, for real, make sure that you guys are hitting the subscribe button and also ringing that bell. I'm trying to drop three videos for the rest of the week every single day. And uh, yesterday, we did we did it. You know what I'm saying? We did it. The day before that, we did it. So I'm pretty happy. We are on a roll right now. So this is our first video of the day. Like I said, make sure that you subscribe with notifications on so you don't have to miss out on any of these bangers. Now we're going to go ahead and get into this build, man. The pure post score is by far one of the nastiest builds for a big man. These dudes have been nasty since the release date of NBA 2K19. It is scary that these guys are so dang good, but if you know how to use them right and you get your badges, you really can't be stopped. So we're going to go ahead and look at the best pure post score build in NBA 2K19. Like this Jonas... This don't need to be patched, but we're going to go ahead and get into it right now. So I'm pretty sure you guys already know what it do. Now, we already know that the best position for any of these big man builds is going to be at the power forward position. You get a little speed, you get some lit badges, and it's just a way better position rather than the five. And a lot of, uh, a lot of love was shown to this power forward position this year. So I'm actually really surprised, but of course, we gotta make this post score a power forward. Now, just being a power forward, we are gonna get some lit badges. We're still gonna be able to move, and the deadliest thing about this thing is that our jump shot is still going to be pretty lethal. Now, of course, our primary skill, we already know where we're going at. We're going with a post scoring primary, and then our secondary is gonna be post scoring as well. Now, for you guys that do not have a post scoring power forward, then you guys might not know the badges for this build. Now, we do see that we get five Hall of Fame badges. We get difficult shots, post spin technician, drop stepper, up and under specialist, and brick wall. These five Hall of Fame badges might be the best five Hall of Fame badges are the best Hall of Fame badges on any big man build in this game. Just looking at difficult shots, that is that is sickening. Post spin technician. If you guys know how to do the post spin and the drop stepper, you got them on Hall of Fame. Now, a lot of you guys have probably played me at the park. All I do is pretty much those two moves right there. Post spin technician, drop stepper. But the thing is, I only got them on gold. So I can only imagine what Hall of Fame just entails for this build. Now, looking at the other jumps, up and under specialist and brick wall, come on, bro. Looking at our gold badges, we got four gold badges. We got tireless score, relentless finisher, bruiser, and also quick reflexes. Not bad. We also see that we get 11 silver badges. That is kind of a lot. That is OD with the badges. So let's go ahead and look at these real quick. We get mid-range dead eye, pick and popper, posterizer, acrobat, teardropper, pick and roller, break starter, lob city passer, dimer, hustle rebounder, and also free throw ace. The fact that we get dimer at the four spot on silver is wild, bro. 
This is wild. The fact that you can completely dominate your opponent, force a double team, and then say you're playing with two stretch bigs. It, I'm pretty sure you can just hear the pain in my voice, bro. This build is nasty, bro. This is one of those builds that they didn't, I guess 2K didn't see that this was going to be a go. This build is a problem. Looking at the five badges that we have on bronze, we get Lob City Finisher, Putback King, Defensive Stopper, Charge Car, and Rim Protector. Now, going back to these silver badges, we get Dimer, Lob City Passer, Break Starter. What the heck? What am I looking at? Bruh, mid range Deadeye. Yo, do y'all see what I'm talking about right now, bro? Just with these badges, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Next thing is we got to we gotta go ahead and focus on the height of this player build. Of course, we're at the power forward, so the max height that we can go with is going to be 7 foot. But I highly encourage you guys not to go 7 foot. Just like those pure stretch bigs, if you go 7 foot, your shooting's not going to be as lit as the 6'11". And for this build... We're going 6'11", bro. 6'11 is definitely by far one of the best heights for a power forward. We still get everything that we need, and we really don't give up too much. So I was looking at all the stats, and I really like the stats that this 6'11 power forward came with. So 6'11 for this build, and I think that is a perfect height for this player build and what he's going to be able to do because he ain't really knocked down anything. So, all right, look. The next thing that we need to focus on is going to be our weight. Now, the one thing that I highly encourage you guys to do is don't minimize your weight, but definitely please don't maximize your weight either. Now, of course, weight is going to be very important with this build because we still want to be strong. We still want to have a little bit of a back a box out, my bad, but we, we need to be a little strong. We're going to be playing bully ball. If you got a mismatch, you're going to have Hall of Fame post scoring badges and you're gonna get some little kids up out the way all right so for the weight that i decided to use for this build we're actually going to go up a few notches to 255 pounds it gives me everything that i need i'm not going to be the slowest dude out there especially if i'm going against another big man this is it for me you know what i'm saying 255 gives me everything that i need to just be successful on the court as a pure post scorer so 255 is our choice. Now, the next thing and the final thing is going to be your wingspan. Now, we all know that the wingspan is very important. The wingspan kind of determines if you're going to have a little bit of a jumper or if you're just going to be a defensive demigod. Now, the thing about this build is we will be able to shoot a little bit. You saw we got mid-range dead eye and post scores can actually shoot low key. Post scores are very sneaky builds. They will pop a three, they will shoot from mid-range, and they love shooting off of, you know, post moves and all that. Like, I was about to say post spins, but they love shooting off of post moves. So, for those difficult shots badges out there, you do get it on Hall of Fame with this build. So, of course, we're going to go with 90.5. We're going to stay default. We don't want to miss out on any shooting stats whatsoever, and we still want to be very decent on defense. Now, looking at the stats on this build, they might come to a surprise to you just how OP this build can actually be. But let's go ahead and look at the stats. Looking at these, your standing layup is a 94. Your driving layup is an 84. Your shot close, 94. Standing dunk, 82. Driving dunk is an 80. Contact dunk, a 78. That's crazy. You even get a little bit of a mid-range. Your open mid-range, 73. Contested, 73. You put a lit jumper on them, you're going to be greening all day, all night. Now, the crazy thing about this is the open shot three is a 66. The funny thing is, I just dropped the video yesterday explaining the only two jump shots that you need to know about in NBA 2K19. And there's a jump shot specifically made for this build right here. Now, I showed you that with my post score, I had like a 56 standing three. And I still shoot greens from the corner and from the top. Well, guess what? You got a 66 open shot three. You know what that means. You're going to be greening up from almost all around the court. Mid-range, three. You are going to be a problem. Now, looking down here, you do 
get your bread and butter of course you get the post fade away the post hook and also the post control all on 99 y'all know what 99 means that's the highest in 2k you, you you can't get any higher than this on this little attribute cap unless you go and get boost but that doesn't even show up look bro the 99 post fadeaway is the cheesiest thing in this freaking game bro the post hook if you guys use the hooks fine but if you got the post control, you're not going to get easily ripped. You're not going to have all those dumb animations like I get because I didn't go pure post score. I would definitely do a pure post score next time. But moving on along, our box out is still going to be an 80. Our rebounds are going to be a 79. Not too bad. But the best part about it is our speed. We're not the slowest thing on the court. So I really appreciate that having a 70 speed and then that strength boy that strength is going to end up at a 95 that strength is going to be very important and very key to us playing bully ball in that paint so if there's somebody between you and that bucket i feel bad for them because they're gonna have to go through hell all right so this is definitely a build that you guys need to pay attention to i feel that if they ain't patching in 2k19 this just might be a very scary build in NBA 2K20. That's just saying if we if we keep dual archetypes, you might want to go pure post score. Just, you know, just a heads up. Just a heads up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Like I said, hit the like button for your boy, especially if you guys are just rocking with your boy as I drop three videos a day. You guys don't really understand how hard this is. This is very, very difficult. So I need... All the support that i can get so smash the like button for your boy comment down below if you've ever used a peer post score or if you own one or even if you just got dominated by one let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are brand new make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button but also make sure to ring that bell so you guys don't miss out on any future videos all right so i've been dropping three a day maybe three today three tomorrow I'm going to see if I can keep it going for the rest of the month. But until next time, it's been your boy Sino, and I'm getting up out of here, bro. Peace. What's it gonna take to get a milli? Uh, pop up and turn the VIC, I'm getting silly. Uh, whole club turn the VIP when we step in the building. Uh, I got money going up, I treat it like my children. Uh, can't stop me, I've been going hard today. Cross up like Jesus or Penny Hardaway. Uh, I can't take the easy route, got the harder way. I've been sipping scissor, but I'm barely walking straight. Uh.